Yo, Hollywood Drip man. Today I'm coming with y'all vlog for today. Let y'all know about this college life. I'm gonna show y'all exactly how I did. As you can see right now. Fit be eleven o'clock. And I got class. At 11. I'm already late. So. I'm going to tell y'all exactly how it is at college, man. You wake up. Get right. I'm going to show y'all what it's looking like. First thing, man, I got to get dressed. Like I said, I'm already late. I ain't really tripping now. You know, that's about college, man. When you got class, you really ain't got to go. But you should go. So, throughout the day, I'm going to show y'all what it's like. You know, all you high schoolers out there, man, I'm going to give y'all some tips and tricks and some other things, you know. That way, when y'all be ready to go to college, you know, y'all be ready, prepared. Dang, I cracked my phone. So the first thing is, man, we're going to get dressed. All right, I got class at 11. It's 10.58. It's taking like 10 minutes to get there. And I think it's raining outside too. So that's going to make it even worse. You know what I'm Just throw a little something on, you know. Nothing too special. But hey, first tip of the day. My first tip of the day. Do not, and I repeat, do not take 8 a.m. 9 a.m., maybe. 8 a.m., no. Do not take 8 a.m. class. You will regret it. You will stop going to class, I'm being honest with you. And y'all know where I'm at, man. I'm at PV, man. You know. The one and only. You rock that purple and gold. But we're going back to the tips, man. Like I said, do not take an 8 a.m. class. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might think, like, oh, I woke up for 8 a.m. in high school. I'll play basketball. I woke up at 6. Or I'll play football. I woke up at 7. Or I, I went to Chile. I woke up at 5 o'clock. Can't be there. It's not the same. I'm going to tell y'all that now. It's not the same. Listen, for college, it's like you got freedom. So you ain't got nobody telling you when to go to bed. You ain't got no your mom or dad telling you be home at 12 o'clock or if that's a curfew, be home at 10 or, you know what I'm saying? So out here, you do what you want to do. Like, you don't have to be in your bed. Like, you go to sleep at five if you want to. You, you don't have to be in your dorm until you want to, you know what I'm saying? So when you have things you want to do, when you having game nights, when you want to people dorm, spend the night, when you, um, when you going to parties on the weekends, things like that you're not gonna want to wake up at 8 in the morning after a party or you're not gonna want to wake up in the morning after you went to sleep at 5 so do not take an 8 a.m. I'm telling you I took one last semester I took it for chemistry I really failed it my teacher um my teacher low-key curved it but my eyes getting watery bro cold. man my teacher low-key curved my grade I really failed it so I'm telling y'all now my 8 a.m. class last semester I stopped going because I, I didn't want to wake up. Like, I went some days, some days I didn't. Some days I'm like, oh, I can miss this class. You know, it's just one day. But one day in college is like a week worth, like in high school. You miss one day, you like, you come back the next day, you like, bro, what? What did I miss? Like, what? So I'm telling you now, tip number one do not miss a class, really. But also, do not take 8 a.m. Because if you take 8 a.m., I promise you, you're not going to want to go. It is not the same as high school. You know, people are going to tell you that. Like, when you start taking tours and all that, they're going to tell you, don't take 8 a.m. But I'm telling you here now, as a freshman college student that just graduated high school in my, sec my second semester right now, I'm telling you right now, do not take 8 a.m. All right? But I'm going to head to this class. I'm going to see y'all when I'm in there. I'm going to give y'all a little sneak peek of what it's like inside of the classroom. Keep in mind, I am at HBCU, I'm at PV. So my classroom's not that big. 
but we plan on going to UNT, Texas, TCU, Texas Tech, you know, big schools like that. Your classroom gonna have like 200 people in there. Your classroom gonna have like 100 people in there. All right, I'm at HBCU, you know, my school is not that big, not too many people. So my classroom look like a normal classroom, look like a high school classroom. But if you plan on going to the big school, just know you're gonna be in a big old auditorium with 100 plus people. So if you can learn that way, do it. If you can't learn that way, PV, HBCU, small school, it's the way to go. But look, here you go my building right here, y'all. Alright, I'm already late, man. Let me see this time. My class started at 11. Like I said, you wake up when you want to, you go to class when you want to. I don't recommend it, though. But, I woke up a little late today. Started the vlog, did some extra homework before I came to class. I'm walking a little late. Let's get it. <laughs> My camera went dead, so I couldn't show y'all the rest of it. But look, we had another little break. Our class ended at 11.20. I got another class at two o'clock. It's 1.46, I'm about to head to my second class, which is math class. I'm here with the boys, here with the game. Mr. Dang, hold on, it's blurry. You got Mr. Freshman right here, you feel me? It is. Hold on. Game. All right, <laughs> we finna head to class. So Wait, everybody got a 2 o'clock? You got a 2 o'clock class too? Yeah, you got a 2 o'clock too? Yeah, I bet. Hey, yo. Oh, bro, we all over there now. Right, you got me the code. You might make it. Free me, bitch. There's something more than that, at least. Freeze. You got a t-shirt on there? <laughs> yeah, he might get there. I ain't gonna lie. You think so? you make it, yeah. Unless you want someone to head. That's my thing. Nah, I'm kidding. Alright, yeah. I got these. Hey, bro, hold on. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I get a lot of viewers, bro. You gotta say something for the ladies out there. You know I get a lot. I put a lot. Introduce yourself to the. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, you gotta introduce yourself, man. We're talking though. Hey, it's Mr. Smooth. What's up? Mr. Smooth again. Y'all check him out. Hold on. Hey, right, hold on. Hold <laughs> on. Uh, hold on. You know Mr. Fresh and Mr. Mr. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Y'all, y'all wanna introduce yourself too, nah? No, it's K Smooth. K Smooth. Hey, that's new. Hold on. That's <laughs> <laughs> new. You already know. Nick Two Hollywood. Tap in. Tap in. What is wait, 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 wait. What is wait, wait, wait. Tap, tap in on the business side. I'm a very, I'm an excellent communicator, great speaker. Um, I can make any deals come, you know, like, yeah. Don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> he, he full of, no, Evan, where you at, fam? All right, he, he, oh, he ain't there. All right, look, I gave, while I'm doing this, I'm giving them tips on like college stuff. My first time I gave them was don't take an 8 a.m. class. Oh, yeah, no. So, sure. what, what do y'all got any tips? What's the, what's the tip y'all would say to any college student out there? Or any freshman or high school that's coming to college? Uh, I, I got get there. ready, I would say. You're gonna be on your own. You're gonna have to hold your own self accountable at all times. Awesome. Professors really don't care if you come to class, so they you don't better be motivated. You. They don't care about you. Just remember that. They don't care if you fail. They, they don't. don't. don't succeed. It's all about you. No, hey, no cap, no. It's all about you for real. Like, if you don't come to class, they not fit to come call your mama. They not fit to be... <laughs> <laughs> hey, they not fit to call your mama and tell them they not, you not coming to class. They not fit to come knocking on your door. They not fit to do any of that. If you miss class and you don't want to wake up for the 8 a.m., that's going to be you. You fill your class, don't expect no curve. Don't... Hey. And look. The teachers are here? All right. Hey, where you come from? <laughs> <laughs> Hold the door for my girl. Man, well look, hey, they don't care about you for real. And they don't speak English for real. So, <laughs> they don't. I'm not going to lie, I cannot understand a word my math they, teacher say. But she's sweet though, so. It's yeah, yeah, the teachers, like, like they real good humans. Like, they real good people. But when it comes to teachers, they suck. Like, they don't care about you. They not going to care about your stuff unless they feel like they did something wrong. They barely speak English for real. Like, you going to need a translator or something because... Basically, I'll go to class, all right? I'm fit to go to my 2 o'clock math class. I'm going to show y'all what it's like in there. And I'm going to show y'all how my teacher speaks. <laughs> so y'all can see 
Y'all can see what we're talking about about like not knowing what your professor's saying. All right. Because I came to teach the last year. Oh, oh Lord. Man, I think we should video record his ass. No, God. Man, you want to come to class from Allen every day. Man, <laughs> Man. Man. <laughs> but yeah, our math teacher right now, he cool. I can some way understand what he's saying. Right. So I'm going to show y'all what that's like. And I'm going to show y'all some more tips throughout the day. Yeah, it's love. Ah, uh, y'all, look. I got like tip number three or four for y'all. I lost track. I ain't gonna lie. But another tip is, all right. <laughs> but look. Next tip was, make sure you know your schedule, all right? Because when it comes to college, fam, they follow the syllabus like day by day, word for word, for real. Like high school, they they like give you a syllabus. And like they'll change it, they'll never even use it. Like, Honestly, you'll get it the first day of school, high school, you'll grab it, you'll look at it, you'll throw it away. Yeah. You'll never touch it again. Here, in college, fam, they give you that syllabus, you better study it, you better look at it every day. Because they use that boy, <laughs> they use that boy day by day, they like use real that time. Boy, huh? They use Bro, like, if you miss class one day, fam, you better look at it to know what you know what you were doing because they use it day by day and then along with this fam I'm about to schedule and make sure you have a calendar okay. you know like plan. yeah you, some kind of plan and calendar something like that because when I was high school I was just like call my friends oh yeah I forgot I got homework so I'm gonna do tomorrow yeah. oh, da, da, da. but in college since you don't have your class every day like since you have like one class Monday and you won't have a class again to Thursday or something like that you forget like that you got something to do. So you gotta make sure you write it down, have a calendar. Something like that. What was that? Library. You going to library? Yeah. Oh no. Nah, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> Who? God. 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 <laughs> God. <laughs> I got a class with Keelan, I don't know if y'all seen him. He had to go to another class. I'm done for today. I think it might be done, maybe. So yeah, I'm done for today. Ain't nobody else here. So there y'all. So, the rest of the time, here's what I do. I go to Prize Picks, man. If y'all don't know what Prize Picks is, hey look, I'm not no promoter, I'm not no kind of Sponsor or anything. All right, I don't sponsor prize picks, but prize picks is the way to go. As you can see here, if you check it out, if it actually um, focus in. As you can see here, I won over a thousand eight hundred dollars. Something really slight. As a college student, man, you gotta find a way to make some money, cause you gonna want you need money for these parties I wanna go to. So, prize picks is my way to go. So, as a college student, you got to be able to find some kind of side hustle or some kind of way to make your money throughout college. And that's another tip for y'all right there. So, when it comes to college, you're not going to know people out here. And people are not going to know who you is. So, when you come to college, try to find something that's going to make you money. And with that being said, um, all you girls out there, last tags, nails, um, you no know, hair, all that, that good stuff. Makeup, all you know what I'm saying. Makeup, hair, lashes, nails. Make sure you start a business on that. If you if you have an interest in that, start a business. Get your page going right now while you're in high school, 
That way you can start building up followers. So when like, people look at some stuff from college, they'll look at me like, oh yeah, she good at it. Like she already, she got like five, like, she got like five hundred followers. She got some some posts on there. They already know that you actually can do the stuff that they want you to do. All you men out there, haircuts. Oh my, this is the only thing that I pay for in college. Really, parties and haircuts is the only thing I pay for. So if you come to college and you're a barber, hey, practice. Get your page going, alright? Make sure you get all your clippers, your enhancements, all, you know, your razors, sprays, everything you need, alright? Make sure you bring that to college, because when you come to college and you have some kind of skill that can that other people need, bro, you're going to make mad money, honestly. Like, because if you ask anybody, they come out here to Houston where I'm at, and when you come down here, you don't know anybody. You don't have a barber, you know what I'm saying? You, you don't know who's good at what. So you kind of have to find the people, you kind of have to adapt. So if you got some skills like that or you want to start having skills like that, make sure like in this summer or right now, whenever you can, start practicing or some kind of way to get your money. You know, if you're into stocks, okay, cool. Do stocks, get your money through stocks. If you're into sports gambling, sports gamble. Just make sure you have a side hustle so uh, you can pay for these parties, you can pay for these books, you can pay, well, don't buy books for real. You can pay for all your classes. Anything you need to pay for it, you can pay for it. So, another tip, get to a side hustle, get it ASAP. I'm telling y'all this now, it'll be great. And it don't gotta be, you don't, really have, you don't even have to have a skill, if I'm being honest. I know people that, that make candy grapes, or make some kind of like, strawberries or desserts or something like that, make money. You know, I, may, I know some, uh, some dealers, you know, make money. Whatever, whatever you got on the side to, do some kind of make money activity, some kind of side hustle. Make sure you bring it to college, cause you'll make money and you won't even know you will. Your name be all over the campus, ASAP. So make sure you do that. But I'ma catch y'all at four o'clock. Right now, I'm not really gonna do nothing. I'm going to make sure I do my research on these pigs. Figure out who I want to pick for today. Try to make some more money. Four o'clock or four ten, four twenty is come. I'm gonna go eat. You know what I mean? Play the game, work out, bowl, do some other things. Show y'all the lifestyle of a college student for real. Give y'all a full tour, give y'all a full experience. Alright y'all, we're gonna head to the MSC. Which is like cafeteria. Pretty much. Nick not here, is he? Nah. Alright. My boy said he don't like the walk pass effect. I don't. Bro, I'm telling you, fam, you gotta... Look, I'll put y'all on for real. You get lotion first, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get <laughs> said this like five times. I'm you, you get lotion first, right? You get the lotion, rub it on your hands, you know what I'm saying? Then rub it on your clothes. So you got like, ah, rub it all on your clothes, pants too, no cap. And then you get cologne, right? Behind the ear, behind the ear, the wrist. And then you, know, you gotta get the shirt or whatever you wear. Do not put it on your skin if you have sensitive skin or eczema or psoriasis or something like that. She will break out. Boy, you sound like a commercial ad. Boy, get to <laughs> Because it is a commercial ad. It is a commercial <laughs> ad. But I like my cologne. They like that smell good. Pad. You walk by, they smell it. They, you know what I'm saying? All you guys out there, don't be rocking no, no Sabah and Dior or no stuff like that. Everybody that I'm with that. You, you don't smell like every other dude. You know, you gotta have that, that one with kind, that, that good stuff. Don't be rocking, don't be, don't be rocking with everybody else rocking. They gonna be like, mm, you smell familiar. Mm, you smell like my ex. Mm, you smell, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, like my ex is crazy. You, can't be, you can't be rocking with everybody else rocking. You gotta rock your own shit. So make sure you, whenever you put on something, put it on for real. Hurt. <laughs> He's socially awkward, man. What? <laughs> And what's my nickname? He's, hey, Mr. Smooth. You know what exactly. I'm and why? Why am I Mr. Smooth? Hey, he got the female. Hey, he got the female, fam. Look, yeah. you say cap? I'm fin hey, I'm inserting the club with him getting torqued on at every party we went to. <laughs> every party. Don't do that. Listen, every party. It, it, okay, if you do that, do every it like party five we went to. Just like three seconds. He got at least like three plus torque sessions. Am I, am I lying? Three plus. Am I lying? That's that's hey I'm lying. 
I'm, uh, Play your life. Put it on something. I put it on your life. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stay. What you want? T tell the tell the people what you want. What's your, what's your ideal girl and what are you what are you planning on? <laughs> what's your what's your relationship looking like? What I'm you? looking. F I am. I'm at this point. I I am dating to marry. That's it. Oh, you're so cap. Oh, he's what? so cap. Wow. He's so cap. So you if I'm looking for somebody, I mean, it's gotta be like you, you, you gotta grow with me. That's it. Oh, uh, now you want to do all that? Now he want to do all that lovey dovey shit. See, see, he's he, so cap. He he's saying I'm capping, but I'm not. <laughs> Bro, he's so cat, bro. Oh my God. He's so cat. Oh my God. If if y'all knew what I knew, y'all would know he's so cat. And he's so cat. Do I look like somebody that be on what he say I'm on? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm gonna catch y'all the MSC. So we're currently at the Memorial Student Center, which is basically not only the cafe, but also the market on, on the other side. We have the <laughs> so auditorium cute. right here. SGA office located on the second floor. So basically what I'm trying to say is this is a heavy student traffic place. If you're coming to PD, you gotta know about the MSC. Okay? Alright. It doesn't give you nine yes, black people work to kill, yes, black people in the kitchen. That shit be 50-50. I'm gonna keep it real with you. It's gonna hit some days, some days not gonna hit. I'm gonna take 25, 25. The food be good. I ain't gonna lie to you. Food be good. Yeah. Hey, hey, what about the females? What about the females at the MSC? You always gonna find something you like. Oh, oh, See, we're talking about it's like first, just, first appearance, everything. Right? Okay. Yeah, I don't mind the beauty, but I don't need the body. That too. I heard you say. I did. I need, the body don't gotta be there. Fuck all that. You know, if if, if I really love my girl, we can go buy you one if you want. Like, if she want it, I'ma get it for her because I love her. We talking about buying? Yeah, this nigga lost. This Wait, buying a body? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you buy a body, man? Nigga, you, you ever heard of a BBL? Oh, I know exactly what he's talking about. Yeah, but oh, no, I know, but no, no. Hey, I'm but just, you know I'm the just... respect with that? Hahaha. 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 Like the right man? You know, like, surgeon man? Like, he, that, that vein in her Like, he swells. <laughs> she's gone. She's gone. <laughs> Get the camera over here. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about a vein in her ass? <laughs> That's a vein in the ass? <laughs> a video that reminded me. I'm sorry. Uh, you I'm sorry. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. PV parties be different. I ain't gonna oh, lie to you. Hey, no, nobody's matching my party. I don't care what ABC you at. I don't know what school Great. you at. Hey, man, hey. man, they not matching none of our parties. <laughs> hey, hey, come right here. If you if you wanna know the trick, go over the TikTok and type a nigga up named Rondo. You can learn everything you need to know. From I that know. That's all you need to know right now. Hey, let me let me put the camera back this way. So. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all for all you guys and females that's coming with class two seven, and y'all got couples. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this: drop them. When you get here, pick it back, pick it back, pick it back, pick it back. Look at the, look at the. Don't listen to this girl, bro. No, no, listen to this girl. No, 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 do what you do. No, no, no. I mean, no, 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 your boundary, no, fam. No, you no. still have your fun. Just be respectful about no, it. No, no. <laughs> Alright, look. This 15, 12 percent loyalness here, and that's men and women. About 90, whatever, 99 percent. I'm gonna say it like that. I'm gonna say it like that. Look around here. Just take a brief look. Hey, look. I'm gonna just get up. I'm gonna just get up. I got look. Wow. Hey, hey. <laughs> they ain't even like that for real. I'm just hey, man. I got the MSC rap in this mode. Oh, oh, I said the MSC rap. MSC rap. Chase on the cut, man. Chase the drip out. Yeah, uh oh. Uh oh, that boy tall. That boy tall. Okay. Yeah. Hey y'all, my YouTube is where y'all not subscribe.
All right, y'all, it's the end of the day, y'all. That's really the vlog for the day. Hope y'all enjoyed it, but look, before we get off, I got cup on, y'all, you know, I'm play my home girl. I play cup on real fast, let it be. But it's really the end of the vlog, and before we end the vlog, I'm gonna leave y'all with one final tip. All right, one final tip for all you high schoolers out there, or all y'all people that's, that's transferring school or anything like that. Really, I got two. I got two, actually. Number one, do your research. All right, research the school. All right, when y'all come to college, man, y'all know how some people get down, you know, some people y'all want to join, something like Do your research, all right? Make sure you know what you're getting into. All right, find some organizations, research about the school, you know, how they act, the rules they got, all that. Do your research, all right? Make sure you pick the right school. Make sure you pick the right people to join. Make sure you pick the right friends, all of that. Number two, that leads to me saying this. When you pick the right friends, get involved, all right? You pick the right school, you pick the right organization, you pick all the good people that you want to hang out with. Get out the house. All right, enjoy it. Really, freshman year is your best year. So what I'm saying to y'all, I know some of y'all going to be like, oh, no, I'm, I'm going go to I'm gonna go to school to go to school. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to go to school to get my degree and only get my degree. No, you have to get involved, all right? So don't be scared to get involved when it comes to school because college is not really school. It's really not. So don't think of all you people that like, oh, I don't need college, you know, like, I don't need college, I got a job, blah, blah, or I don't like school, I don't like math, I don't like science. Don't think of it like that, and all honesty, do not think of it like that, because school, it's not really school. Y'all seen my schedule, I have two classes, and I was done. It's not school, I promise you, it's really not. So don't think of school as school, just think of it like your new lifestyle, you know, getting used to the new world. So, unless you like want to have a job already out of high school, you know what I'm saying? Then I understand why you shouldn't come to college because you already got jobs lined up for you. But if you don't, come to college. Like, literally, come to college. But make sure you get out the house, all right? Don't be scared to go to the parties. Don't be scared to put yourself out there, you know, try to be a leader or something. Don't be, try to, don't be kind of scared to join organizations. Don't be scared to do any of that, you know what I mean? Like, it's college. Sometimes you can make mistakes, but don't be scared, all right? So when you first get to college, First week, make friends automatically, like get involved. That's the first thing I'm gonna tell you, get involved. Cause right now, I wasn't involved, you know, I was involved a little bit, I was partying, but I wasn't really in no organizations and I'm regretting it now. So I'm telling y'all now, make sure y'all in an organization or something or some way, some form to get involved with y'all school. You gonna have some school spirit. It's not like high school where you think, oh, I don't have no school spirit. Like we do the same pep rally every weekend or like no school spirit is actually school spirit here like you're gonna rock your school colors and you're gonna rock your school very proudly once you go to school so make sure you represent it make sure you're going out and you're doing things that represent your school and having fun while you're doing it so with the end of that that's the vlog hope y'all enjoyed this video man i know it might be kind of long i'm gonna try to trim that as much as i can but i hope y'all enjoyed the video i'm gone